All right, hey guys, here we are. Second hole, it looks like Bay Hill, hole 18. Not sure if I've played this one yet. Similar strategy to what we did last time. Of course, this is a tighter pin location. I'm wondering with this tighter pin location and if you can even go in. You know, I almost feel like I need to get it to Spectra range. And I'm like being forced into it. Because I need that. Uh... And until I get to the halfway line, you know, the blue line that you see up there, I won't be in wedge range. So it feels like I've never played this hole before yet. But it feels like I need to get this up into Spectra range. Otherwise, I won't be able to stop the ball because it's going to be a very tight green now i'm not 100 percent sure on that but let's just see just a tad bit more touch bin there three four rings i'm not doing anything fancy just trying to get it to my distance so you see i'm putting it just inside this line where spec eight is and of course that's fully max zoomed out and everything we want to stay as close to Max Club as possible. So that way we generate as much backspin as we can. So there's the spec, and you can see pin is right on Max. Now it almost feels like I might have been able to get Bigfoot in here. You can see the ball guide isn't stretching out that much. So maybe that might be a better... Um, Alternative for you guys. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to try to factor in ball guide expansion. So I'm going to keep this ball guide kind of, what's that, 0.6 of a ring. So if you wanted to go at it the same way, you could kind of set up my alignment. And if I do miss this shot, you could just make one, you know, minor adjustment. Let me do the restore. Not sure why we got logged out there. Let's come back in. We're going to change our wind to this. And we were what? So the pin was where max was. Um, so if the pin was max, we are two rings from the pin. So we're going to come in here and we're going to do two rings for max. 429. 429, it's pulling kind of a little bit to lower ground, but not quite into the rocks. Because of this, I think that this ball guide might land a little bit short. I'm just going to go here and move this up just slightly first. Because in, in the event that it does land, you know, an extra 0 0.2, 0 0.3 ring short. Just trying to factor that in. And of course, we're focusing on 429. Of course, it says that right at the top of my screen. So we're going to go here. And 429.37 is correct. Just wanted to double check that. And that's right about there, I guess. Maybe one more click. Let's just try this, see what this looks like. Oh, all over it, just to the right. So just maybe, you know, maybe my pull angle was just slightly off. You can see everything I factored in there pretty much spot on. I was hoping with that wind effect that it would kind of go a little bit left. But I bet you because it's breaking so much to the right, it just didn't want to take effect. It, you know, more of the slope took precedence because it was breaking so much right. But you can see we gave it a good effort. Um, and you guys could just make very minor adjustments on that. So good luck there. I'll see you guys on the next one coming up.